Hey guys, so today Apple released another beta for iOS 17.4. Today releasing iOS 17.4 Developer Beta 2. Now I've had this software installed on this iPhone for the past hour and a half and I wanted to share with you guys some of the initial new features and changes that I've come across. Now the first thing to note is that this update is approximately 900 megabytes. So it is a large download, if you will, for a second beta. And I wanted to share the build number as well because we still have a few additional betas before this software is officially released to the general public ios 17.4 developer beta 2 build number is 21e 5195E. Now the letter E towards the end of the bill number tells me we still have approximately two more betas than the RC, which is the release candidate, and then the official release, which puts this software official release towards the beginning or mid-March timeframe. So we still have about a month and a half of testing here for iOS 17.4. Now aside from iOS 17.4 developer beta 2, by the way, public beta testers, you'll most likely see this within the next 24 hours. Apple also updated the iPad with 17.4 beta 2 for iPad OS, Mac OS 14.4 beta 2, TV OS 17.4 beta 2, first Vision OS 1.1 beta 1 is available for Vision OS. I'll be covering that as well. If you guys want to see the upgrade and progress of that, let me know in the comments down below. And we have Watch OS 10.4 beta 2 available for the Apple Watch. So yeah, let's take a look at iOS 17.4 developer beta 1 first in case you didn't catch my initial coverage there's quite a bit happening here apple has added the new emoji unicode 15.1 with over a hundred new emojis coming to the iphone with ios 17.4 we also have a new updated sub menu for stolen device protection so if we go into settings and we go into face id and passcodes here we can go into the new sub menu for stolen device protection that allows you to disable the feature and also choose from two options to request that security delay for your device as well. Now we also have additional changes for the EU, such as sideloading, the ability to install apps from third-party app stores. Now one thing that Apple mentions here with the latest beta is that the app store is the safest place to download apps. I'll get to that here in just a few seconds. But there's also updates to the podcast application. So with the podcast app, you now have transcripts as well. So basically the same thing we have in Apple Music for Apple Music Lyrics. We have transcripts transcripts for podcasts as well with this software update. We also have SharePlay has been expanded to support HomePod OS and tvOS as well. So you'll now be able to use that with HomePod and the Apple TV. We also have a slight tweak to the outgoing call UI or the call UI menu, which the buttons look a little more transparent with iOS 17.4. And we also have the ability to choose a different default browser. And this one is for the EU as well. All of this happened within beta one now with beta two Apple has added some changes as well here, and I want to start off with a new digital clock or city digital clock available for the widgets. So you see there, the new digital clock gives you an abbreviation of the city and the weather as well. And of course, the time, you can long press, edit the widget, and you can select a city of your choice. Now, Apple already offers a digital clock. By the way, it is available under the clocks option here. And this one does not contain the city information, but the new one does contain the city information, and it is also available for standby. So if you use standby and you're using this new digital clock right here, you'll be able to use that within standby mode as well. Now, something else that's new, as I mentioned, the App Store splash screen here, where Apple telling users that the App Store is the safest and most trusted place to discover amazing apps and games and so forth. Keep in mind that Apple will be bringing sideloading to the EU. So this splash screen here, I think is a direct answer to those that are asking, is it safe to download apps from outside of the App Store? Apple just wants to tell users, hey, the App Store is still the safest place. This is a new splash screen available here. And I also also want to talk about a minor change within privacy here so if we go into privacy and security right here we scroll all the way to the bottom we have passkey access for web browsers so adding the addition of third-party web browser support like default browsers as i mentioned i guess if passkey is requested from those browsers you'll be able to see them listed right there under privacy 
and passkey access for web browser. You should see them right there, especially for the EU since Apple is enabling third-party default browser support as well. And there you guys have it. This is what I know so far that's new within iOS 17.4 Developer Beta 2. Stay tuned for my follow-up video. I'll continue digging around the software. By the way, there's also a bug fix here. So if you were having issues with the emoji stickers within iOS 17.4, that's been addressed here. So if you use Memoji stickers or stickers in general, Apple has addressed the issue where some of the emoji stickers were just not populating properly. So if you were having that issue with that bug, iOS 17.4 developer beta 2 has addressed that as well. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.